Now, in the last tutorial in this series, we managed to create our very first React component, which was the header component, which you can see here rendering at the top of our React.js application. Now, the next step of this tutorial series is to add a router into our single page application so that we can route across different routes, such as the profile page, the sign up page, and the home page. So with that in mind, let's jump back into Visual Studio Code. And let's start off by installing React Router DOM as one of the packages within our project. Now within the front end directory, I'm gonna do the following. So npm install React Router DOM. And that's gonna go away and fetch the package for us and add it to the package.json. Now, as soon as this is installed, we're gonna be able to then configure our application within the app component to feature multiple different paths and routes. So with that successfully installed, let's open up the app.js file. And at the top, we're gonna to want to do the following. So import, and we're gonna to want to import a couple of um, components from this React Router DOM library. So first one is gonna be browser, browser router as router, switch, and root. And again, this is gonna be from React, router dom like so now within the render function of our application or the render return we want to do the following so we want to wrap all of our dev tags in the router component tag and then that end one and what we want to do here is we want to keep the header function or the header component at the top of every page. So just below this, we then want to define where the application is gonna switch between views. Now we're gonna use this switch component. So switch, close that off. And it's within here that we're gonna define the routes within our application. So the first one is gonna be the profile route. And we're gonna say the path is equal to slash profile. And within here, we're just gonna do a h2 tag and say profile for now. And then we're gonna do another identical route just underneath that says path sign up, which is gonna be where users go to in order to sign up and register for our application or single page service. Uh, so this is gonna have a h2 tag of sign up. And then finally, we want to define the home page path which is just gonna be forward slash, slash like that. And within here, we want to do h2 home. Perfect. Now I've got this application running within another terminal window. So I'm gonna jump back into my application. And as you can see, the home component has been rendered as this path that we're currently on matches the forward slash path. So. We want to then update the header component at the top of our application so that we can link between the profile and the sign up routes. So let's do that now by opening up the header component. And then at the top, we want to do import and we're gonna to want to do link from React Router DOM. And then we want to navigate down to the ahref tags and we're gonna replace them with link and to slash profile and finish off the tag. And then we're gonna do the same for the sign up. So link, change href to two, and then sign up. And once again, we want to close out this link tag. Perfect, so that's compiled. Let's jump back into the browser. And if we now click on the profile page, you should see that it's navigated to the slash profile path. And that has subsequently rendered to the profile h2 tag that we've got defined within that path. And if we click on sign up, same thing happens again. Perfect. Perfect. So we've been able to successfully set up the React router library within our React.js application and have it navigate across multiple paths within our application. Now in the next tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we can start styling out the home page so that we can start selling the project or the API to prospective clients.